Hi there, good morning. Well, I hope you're well again today. Thank you for joining me. It's really good to have you here. Well, here in the UK, we are having our autumn season. One of my favorites, if I'm honest with you. I love all the autumn leaves. I love the colors that are around. It's just too beautiful. But we know that when we get to autumn, we know that there starts to be some changes. And um, one of the things that we always laugh about or say that we've got to do is put away our summer sandals and we've got to get our winter boots ready. My husband will not really like this but he'll say oh I've got to leave in the morning and it's dark and I've got to come home in the night and it's dark which is not so great um, but we all know that seasons are one thing that we cannot get away from um, it doesn't matter what happens they come around each year and it's all part of God's amazing plan for us uh, in this wonderful world that he created but you know, I was thinking about autumn and one of the, um, the main features I would say of autumn is the shedding of the leaves that when you walk around, that's one of the first things that you see all the leaves that have been shedded and are all lying around and, um, and the colors, how they start to change uh, is preparing for the winter month. Well, in our spiritual walk, I was thinking we also go through seasons, don't we? Uh, maybe you finding yourself maybe at this time in an autumn season um, where you are doing some shedding you know one of the uh, definitions of shedding is to rid oneself of something not wanted or something not needed you know what are maybe you and I what do we hang on to uh, or that we are hanging on to at this time in our lives that we know that we actually need to let go of we need to just push it back we need to let go of what something that is maybe hindering us from moving further into our relationship even with God well, there's a portion of scripture in James 1 verse 21, and it tells us a few things that you and I need to get rid of. And it says, so get rid of all uncleanliness and the rampant ungrowth of wickedness. And in a humble, gentle, modest spirit, receive and welcome the word which implanted and rooted in your heart contains the power to save your souls. Wow, that is a bit of a challenging scripture. Some things that you and I, we are needing to get rid of. So if we're wanting to see the progress in our lives and we're wanting to spiritually grow, grow up in God, there needs to be some changes even on the inside of us. These are changes you and I, we need to make. Um, you know, when we read the word and we hear the word of God, you know, we need to put it into practice. Um, we need to make the choice to change. God uh, wants us to get rid of, as the scripture said, all uncleanliness and all wickedness. Um, what area may be that you know that God is maybe dealing with you even at this time where you are needing to make some changes? Um, when we've done that and we've gone through the season of autumn, you know, the new season comes in. We begin to welcome the new season in. You know, when we welcome the word of God into our hearts, uh, the scripture says that we get, um, we get rooted and we get grounded in the word of God and our hearts will be saved. Wow, is that not awesome? This is when you and I, when we're going to be able to see true growth and maturity in our walk with God. We also know um, and we also find that we are ready for the changes then in the new season that we're entering into. Uh, we are well prepared for that season that God has up ahead for us. You know, as I've got older, I can honestly say that I really, really enjoy each season. I love the different aspects of all the seasons that we have. Um, why not take a look today, even at the season that you may be in, whatever season it may be that you're finding yourself in at this time, and look at it and know that there is a reason for each one of the seasons that we go through and that God is busy working on the inside of us and he is completing that good plan that he began on the inside of us. So have a good day today. Have a strengthened day today and enjoy the day. God bless. Bye-bye.